Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to calculate the derivatives of inverse sine, cos and tan and I'm going to timestamp each one below so if you just want to skip through to the derivative of inverse tan or for example you can just go and do that now. So before we start you are going to need to know how to do implicit differentiation for this video and I'll link my videos on that below. You're also going to need to know a couple trig identities which I've written here. So the first one is that cos squared x plus uh, sine squared x is 1 and the other one is that sec squared x is 1 plus tan squared x. And finally, you're going to need to know the derivative of tan of x, and that's just sec squared x. And I'll link my videos on the quotient rule, finding that below. So all of this stuff pretty much is linked below. So if you don't know how to do any of it, you can go check them out. So let's look at the first one, where we want to calculate the derivative of y equals inverse sine of x. First thing, rewrite it so that we have sine of y is going to be equal to x. And now we can do implicit differentiation to calculate the derivative of this. So the derivative of the left-hand side using the chain rule, because we're differentiating a function of y with respect to x, we get that that's just going to be cos of y dy by dx. And that's just going to be equal to, well, the derivative of the right-hand side, which is just 1. And so rearranging to make dy by dx the subject, we get that dy by dx is just equal to 1 over cos of y. So from here, we're going to have to do a little trick with the denominator. We're going to have to square it and take the square root of it at the same time. That way, it stays exactly the same, but we can then rewrite it. So we get 1 over the square root of cos squared y. And the reason I've done that is because that if we look at our trig identities at the top, well, cos squared y is actually equal to 1 minus sine squared y. Okay, And so let's rewrite it, and we get that that's 1 over the square root of 1 minus sine squared y. And the reason I wanted to do that is because right at the start we said that sine of y was x, so therefore sine squared y is going to be equal to x squared, and we get that our derivative is going to be equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, and that is the derivative. So let's look at the second example where we want to find the derivative of uh, inverse cos of x, and this works pretty much the exact same way, so you can probably already do this one. So we're going to say that, well, uh, cos of y is going to be equal to x, and then using implicit differentiation, we get that the left hand side's derivative is going to be equal to whoops, what's going on? The left hand side's derivative is going to be equal to negative sine y multiplied by dy by dx. And the right hand side's derivative is just going to be one. So therefore rearranging, we get that dy by dx is going to be equal to negative one over sine of y. And using that same trick where we square and square root it, we get that this derivative is equal to negative one over the square root of sine squared y and then using that same trig identity we get that the denominator becomes what well, we get negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus cosine squared of y and we said that cos x was or cos of y sorry was equal to x so therefore cos squared of y is just going to be equal to x squared and we get a derivative equal to negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared which is what we wanted to show so final example where we're going to find the derivative of inverse tan. Well, first thing, like always, we're going to rewrite it so that we get tan of y is equal to x. And here's where we're going to have to use our implicit differentiation or the chain rule on the left hand side to calculate the derivative of tan of y. And if we look right at the top at the start, we said that the derivative of tan of x was sec squared x. So my derivative of tan y with respect to x is going to be sec squared y multiplied by dy by dx and the derivative of the right hand side is just 1. So rearranging we get that dy by dx is going to be equal to 1 over sec squared x and finally, whoops sorry, sec squared y and finally we're just going to have to use our final trig identity which is that sec squared x is equal to 1 plus tan squared x and so in this case we're going to get that 1 over sec squared y is equal to 1 plus tan squared of y and at the start we said that well tan of y was equal to x, so tan squared of y is just going to be x squared, and we get our derivative is 1 over 1 plus x squared, like we needed to show. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe, share, and check out my channel for tons of other maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.